Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm sharing two Dollar Tree DIYs that you can make at home and super affordable. I'm using this as a picture frame and I'm also gonna be using this as a decorative tray. So I use this image from Graphic Stock and I really love it. I can't wait to share you all more info about it. So stay tuned for that. And this is the second DIY I'm gonna show you how to make. Today's video is sponsored by Graphic Stock. If you have never heard of Graphic Stock, it is a subscription based website that gives you unlimited downloads of royalty free photos, vectors, and illustrations. You can use these images to decorate around your home, include them in a DIY or project. They just have so many to choose from. 350,000 images, and all included in the subscription that you pay each year with no hidden fees. These are forever yours. You can use these images wherever and whenever you want because they each come with a 100% royalty free license. You don't ever have to worry about copyrights or worry about not seeing them again because when your subscription ends, as long as you have the images downloaded, they're yours to keep. Here's a little preview of all the amazing images they have. Graphic Stock is giving you all a 7 day free trial so you can try it out and get access to the image library. The link will be in my description box. For the DIY project that I'm going to make, from the photo frame to decorative tray, I wanted something simple and elegant, so I looked up diamonds and was instantly hooked with the first image I saw on the list. Then I just clicked on the picture and hit the download button. For this DIY, you will need two bags of the acrylic gems and then one 11 by 14 photo frame. And I chose this photo frame size because I have another idea for it, so stay tuned for that. Here I'm adding a couple drops of glue because I want to work this thing a little faster and maybe do three to four gems at a time and then just keep repeating the glue, a couple drops and then gems all throughout this photo frame until it's finished. Also make sure when you're gluing these down they're aligning straight, that way they make a perfect line. I found these gems in my garden section at the Dollar Tree and they were near the rocks and the sand plus I saw these in a blue and red color so definitely add these to your gem portrait if you want pops of color in there. I just glued these pieces down so I wanted to make sure they were aligned the way that I want them and we are done you guys. This is how the project came out. I am so happy with it and it looks so elegant, so luxurious for only a couple bucks. My husband was just so happy that I made this and this is a picture that I chose from graphic stock. I love it. It looks so classy. This is a better view from the front and many of you know that I love my bling, my diamonds, so I thought this was a perfect picture for it. So you guys, this is not only just a photo frame, but also a decorative tray piece. And it just came out so beautiful. I'm so happy with the way it came out. I can put my flowers in here, my candy jar, some coasters. You could put this in your entryway as a decor piece. You can put this on a side table, on your coffee table. The ideas are endless, so just have fun with it. Let me know in the comments below where you would style this piece in your home. I'd love to know. For the second DIY, these are the items you will need. You will need two packs of the silver tea lights, and I also saw these in gold, red, and blue, so if you're interested in those, you're welcome to use those as well. I have three of them because I had two packs and I just needed three for this DIY. You'll need three of the medium bowls, six tea light holders, and I also saw these in gold and a bronze color, and then you'll need three of the candle holders. Starting off, I'm getting my candle holder, placing some hot glue on top, and then placing my tea light holder on top. And make sure when you're gluing this down, it's right in the center because it's important for the end. It'll be straight and aligned. 
I went ahead and took the tea light holder stickers off as well as the bowls because it just made this project a lot faster. So definitely take those off before gluing anything down. And then a tip I can give you for the sticky residue is just going slow, taking the sticker off. I mean, I tried everything, soap and water, some goo gone, but none of that really worked for me. So I just learned to just have more patience and take it off slowly and it really does the trick. This is a super easy DIY to make, so I can't wait to show you all the result at the end. All you have to do is just keep gluing and making sure everything is aligned and you'll have such a beautiful result. Finishing up the last piece, I'm so excited to share with you all the final result. And here it is, you guys. This is the Dollar Tree DIY Glam Candle Holders. And honestly, these do not look like anything from the Dollar Tree. You can find these similar at Home Goods, And I saw them from a range from $7.99 to $12.99. And these were only $14 to make all three, including the tea lights. So that is such a great deal. Definitely let me know if you're going to make these. I'd love to know. When the glue dried, I noticed there were little strings of glue left in the candle holders, so just take those out, they come right off. I wanted to show you how these look at night. They look so pretty, so here's a little clip I included for you all to see. This concludes my DIY in this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you part of the family, and as always, have a beautiful and blessed day.